magic for today. いいな。今日、大手の名前。耳に傘。何が楽しい。何が面白い。命を何だと思っているんだ。どうして忘れる。Imagine the shock when Muchiro discovers his connection to Kokushibo. During the event of the Infinity Castle arc, Muchiro finds himself trembling in front of the Upper Moon One. Kokushibo examines Muchiro using the Invisible World technique and senses that they have something in common. Curious about this connection, Kokushibo asks Muchiro who he is. As Muchiro gives his full name, Kokushibo realizes that Muchiro is indeed his family member. Kokushibo tells Muchiro that before he became a demon, he was a demon slayer named Michikatsu Tsugikuni. 
He explains that Muchiro is related to him because he is a descendant of the Tsugikuni family, making them part of the same family. なんか Many people don't realize, but Kiba Tsuji Muzan was actually the one who created his greatest enemy, the original Sunbreath user. In the series, there's a big focus placed on karma, the afterlife, and the spirits of those who've passed on. However, Muzan himself says he doesn't believe in gods, paradise, or hell, because he's never once been punished for his actions, and he goes as far as even cursing the Buddha. This all comes back to bite Muzan in the back, because little did he know, out there was a woman who prayed every day to the sun god for the end of strife and pain, and in this series, Phil of rituals, her prayers are answered when one of her sons, Yorichi, is born not only with a mysterious mark now known as the Demon Slayer mark, but naturally, Yorichi had every skill he needed to put Muzan down once and for all. It's like the gods finally had enough of Muzan and sent someone to defeat him, and even though Yorichi ultimately failed, everything he did carried on into the future and ultimately led to Muzan's defeat. <laughs> なぜだお前が倒れの前に進む。なぜだお前も倒れの前に進む。君が悔いし。なんと、おいたわしや、兄上。どんな困難があっても、これを鳴らせば兄者はすぐ助けに来るから。だって兄者は強いなんだ。兄上。
三百年経った世界の友人よお前の名を聞かせてくれ。